Right, so matrices are awesome, but they can get big, difficult to calculate. So just use your calculator. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Um, the way to do it, second function into the matrix, and we're going to put a matrix in for A and B. So arrow across to where it says edit, and then arrow down to the one you want to edit. So I want to edit matrix A, uh, and it's going to be a two by two matrix, and one, enter, two, enter, three, enter, four, enter. And I'm done there. I'm going to click second function matrix again, go back to where I was, uh, arrow across again, down to the second one, and this is also a two by two. And I'm going to put five, enter six, enter seven, enter eight, enter. And then I'm going to go second function, quit. All right, so I've got two matrices and I want to do these calculations with them. The way to do it, uh, this one's two times matrix A, so two times, and then you go second function, matrix. You arrow down to the matrix you want, A, click enter, and you see that says two times A, done. All right, from here, really straightforward, second function, matrix, choose the matrix you want, I want matrix A, plus, and then second function, matrix, choose the matrix you want, B, enter, A plus B. Now the next one is A times B, and you do it exactly the same way. Easy, straightforward. Uh, next one, A to the power of four, choose your matrix, so second function, matrix, choose A, and then raise it to whatever power you want. All right, so that's going to be a to the power of four, which is this. Now you can combine all these, so you could do like a to the power of four times b if you wanted to. Same deal. Uh, if you want to do the determinant, very well, slightly different. Second function matrix, where it says math here. These are a bunch of mathematical functions that have something to do with matrices. So I'm going to choose determinant here, and then I'm going to choose the matrix that I want in that determinant, which is A. Close the bracket up, enter, and that's the determinant of A. Uh, last of all, A to the power of negative one, the inverse of A. We go second function, matrix, choose your matrix, and then you've got to click this button here. You can't click this one to the power of negative one, doesn't like it, to the power of negative one. And there we have our inverse of matrix A. All right, relatively straightforward. As you can see, keep going into that matrix view and away you go. Probably one more thing I need to tell you about. Um, if you uh, eventually want to clear this thing out, the way to do it is to go second function memory, uh, go into memory management slash delete, choose matrix, and then just click delete on the ones you don't want anymore and you can see they'll go away. Second function, matrix, and you can see they're completely cleared. All right, that is it, uh, matrix calculations on the TI-84+.